Dude, last night's gaming session was epic. Those zombie aliens didn't stand a chance. Totally, but man, I'm beat. We played till what, 2 a.m.? Yeah, but it was worth it. Anyway, ready to tackle another thrilling day at Brookhaven High? I don't know if thrilling is the right word, but come on, let's go. The sooner we get school done, the more zombies we can fight. <laughs> Now that's a plan I can get on board with. Good morning, Klaus. Uh, today I have a special assignment for you. I want you all to write an essay about your pets at home. Make it fun, interesting, and engaging. Ooh, sounds fun. My dog Max does some pretty cool tricks. And I look forward to hearing all about it, Kyle. Tomorrow, each student will read their essays aloud to the class. <sighs> Sounds lame. What was that, Sam? Do you have something you'd like to share with the class? Uh, <laughs> no, Mr. Johnson. Sounds fun. <laughs> Great idea. Glad to hear it. See you all tomorrow, and I look forward to hearing all about your pets. So, what are you going to write your essay about? Oh, you'll see, Kyle. I've got a plan, and this is going to be legendary. Let's meet up after school. It's not going to be another one of your wacky ideas that gets us in trouble, is it? What do you mean? When has that ever happened? Are you serious, dude? It happens pretty much every time you say you have a great idea. Don't be ridiculous, Kyle. Anyway, don't worry. You're going to freak out when you hear this idea. It's epic. But we're meant to play video games later. Zombies, remember? Why can't we just do our homework and then do that? Nah, this is much more fun. Besides, you always say we should concentrate more on our schoolwork, right? And stop spending so much time goofing around. Well, yeah, I suppose, but... But nothing, Kyle. Just wait till later. You'll hear the idea, and you're gonna love it. <sighs> Somehow, I don't think so. All right, spill the beads. What's this plan that's going to shock the world of Brookhaven High? Okay, get this. We're gonna make up epic, hilarious pet stories for our homework. Imagine the laughs we'll get. Seb, are you sure about this? What if we get into trouble? Trust me, it'll be fine. Okay, so the objective here is to blow everyone's minds, right? Our pets need to be more than just pets. They've gotta be legendary. All right, I'm in. But remember, it has to be believable, sort of. Absolutely. So hear me out. What about a pet that's not only cute, but also a genius? I'm thinking a squirrel, but not any squirrel. A flying squirrel named Thunder. A flying squirrel named Thunder? Really, Sab? Yeah, think about it. It'll be hilarious. And what if he's extraordinarily smart? He can solve complex math problems, predict the weather, and even play chess. A chess playing squirrel, huh? I suppose it is kind of funny. What if we had a mystical touch? Like, I have a goldfish, but it's not an ordinary goldfish. Ooh, I like where this is going. Let's name her Sparkle. She's magical. She can sing, dance, and do stand-up comedy. Her performance are only on weekends, though, in a secret underwater theater. Kyle, that's golden. Imagine the faces of our classmates when they hear these stories. But Sam, what if Mr. Johnson doesn't buy it? We could get in trouble again. Nah, he appreciates creativity, and we're giving him a double dose of that. Okay, as long as we keep it fun and lighthearted. No going overboard with the stories. Deal. So we have Thunder, the genius flying squirrel, and Sparkle, a mystical performing goldfish. We are set for legendary status. I suppose this is going to be funny. Let's do it. I don't know, Sam. Are we really going through with this? It feels like we're walking on a tightrope here. Come on, Kyle. It's about making school a bit more colorful and fun. Plus, everyone will remember Thunder and Sparkle for eternity. All right, but let's keep it cool. The goal is to be funny and imaginative, not end up in the principal's office again. Absolutely. So, let's polish these stories. What's something else cool Thunder could do? 
huh, maybe Thunder has participated in the Squirrel Olympics, winning gold in, let's say, acorn bowling or branch gymnastics. That's genius! And what about Sparkle? We've got to make her stand out too. Okay, Sparkle is not just a goldfish. She's a motivational speaker to other fish, teaching them how to avoid nets and plastic in the ocean. Ooh, that's good. A fishy motivational speaker. Imagine their faces when we unleash these tails. But remember, Sam, we've got to make it sound convincing. It's all about the delivery. We need to believe in Thunder and Sparkle ourselves. Don't worry, we'll nail it. Come on, class is about to start. <laughs> Okay, class, I hope everyone did their assignments last night and is ready to share their pet stories with the rest of the class. What about you, Sam? Yep, certainly did. Then why don't you start us off, Sam? With pleasure. So my pet is not just any pet. His name is Thunder, the super intelligent flying squirrel. Thunder can solve math problems and even predict the weather. <laughs> Hmm, very interesting, Sam. Please sit down. Let's have our next student who hopefully took this more seriously. What about you, Kyle? Oh, boy. My pet is named Sparkle, a magical goldfish. <laughs> she can sing, dance, and even do a bit of stand-up comedy at the weekends. <laughs> Perhaps I was wrong. Please sit down, Kyle. Now it's time for the next student. I hope this is not another whimsical tale. Dude, I can't believe we actually did that. Thunder to Squirrel Olympian and Sparkle the Motivational Speaker. Legendary. Sam, Kyle, that was hilarious. Thunder and Sparkle, who would have thought? You guys really brought the house down. Thanks, Dylan. We thought a little extraordinary pet chaos would lighten up the day. Oh, it was epic. You guys always know how to make things interesting around here. I wish I had a pet as cool as Thunder or Sparkle. See, we're legends. Our extraordinary pets are the talk of the town, or at least talk of the school. Sam, Kyle, I need to speak with you in the classroom, please. I appreciate creativity, but that was not taking the assignment seriously. You both have detention. What? Really? <laughs> My bad. Sam, your wild plans always land us in trouble. I told you. I know, I'm sorry. Plus, we're missing Dylan's birthday party. I know, and it was going to be epic. I think we should tone it down a bit in the future. Lesson learned. Agreed. Less chaos, more serious next time. <laughs> 